So over the last two months, we saw a decrease in both inpatients and outpatient cases throughout the Concho Valley. However, in the last one to two weeks, we've seen that number start to go up. Um, I think this is due to a variety of reasons. I think, again, social distancing, wearing your mask, limiting the number and um, amount of people that you're coming into contact with uh, can make a big difference. Um, I am concerned going into the winter as people are moving more indoors in tighter spaces as well as obviously with flu season that we could see this number continue to increase before it again you know declines. In terms of our therapies and therapeutics we haven't really seen any major changes in what we're using to treat these patients with COVID. Um, we're still using FDA approved through emergency use authorization medications such as remdesivir which is an antiviral medicine as well as the convalescent plasma treatment. Um, we're also using dexamethasone which is a steroid which evidence has shown can help patients who are hospitalized with COVID-19. In terms of um, symptoms that patients are experiencing, that has remained stable as well, meaning you know all the same you know, cough, shortness of breath, fatigue, body aches, um, sinus uh, congestion, loss of taste, loss of smell. We haven't seen that evolve uh, from when this pandemic started. The vast majority of patients with coronavirus experience mild to moderate symptoms and recover and then go on to lead normal lives. But I think it's important to remember, you know, those who are vulnerable and with pre-existing conditions who do end up hospitalized, we do see them contract severe disease and unfortunately we've had, you know, quite a number who do ultimately die from coronavirus. I think we've done a really good job uh, in the Concho Valley of, you know, social distancing, wearing masks, uh, washing our hands, trying to be mindful and careful to protect others. And I think as long as we continue to employ these measures, I think we'll, you know, be successful in uh, fighting this pandemic together. Talking about the differences between influenza or the flu and coronavirus, it's important to remember that there is no definitive way to distinguish between the two based on symptoms alone. And this is because people can present in such a wide variety of ways. There are some people with coronavirus who are actively infectious who may have no symptoms. And then of course there are some people with severe symptoms. We typically see uh, a surge in cases of hospitalized patients from a variety of reasons, both influenza, other respiratory viruses in the winter months, and that can stretch our hospital capacity. So by the general public getting vaccinated for the flu and reducing that uh, incidence in our community, that will better allow us to treat the coronavirus, which of course we do not currently have any known cures or vaccines for widely available. So the flu vaccine will not prevent you from getting coronavirus. But the same measures that you take to avoid getting uh, coronavirus can also prevent you from getting the flu, such as, again, social distancing, wearing a mask, hand hygiene. These are both respiratory viruses which infect people in similar ways. So by practicing these uh, techniques, you can both lessen your chance of getting both influenza and coronavirus.